Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is uh, Help You Need with another video tutorial for 3DS Max, and today we're going to be modeling and uh, doing this to a sword. Um, basically, this is a nice texture just for the blade here. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to model this, so let's go ahead and start. Um, basically, uh, what you need is just one cylinder, and um, we're going to go ahead and pull that out of here. Go ahead pull this up I want to make it taller than it is uh wide all right and my height segments are at three cap segments at one and sides at ten then we can go ahead and convert it to an editable poly you know just get it to the right size before you do that all right then we're going to come to the bottom first and we're going to select the bottom here we're going to go ahead and give it like a little ball type thing at the bottom uh this is just to give a little bit more uh uh detail detailed look to it all right uh, now I don't need that so let's go up to the uh, top here and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these two and we're gonna go ahead and uh, click the extrude button here that's fine and we're gonna go ahead and uh, oops. we're going to straighten these out just by pulling out the x-axis of the top viewport that will go ahead and straighten it and now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more uh, size to it. Apply OK. There we go. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to select W. The hot key for this. We're going to pull this up. We're going to collapse these right here. So let's come down to the collapse. Uh, thing. I think I passed it, didn't I? Yeah. Collapse. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Collapse. Um, gotta pull these up too, so, okay, let's pull these straight up, let's just add a little bit of, uh, again, a little bit of a cooler look to it, kind of like the, uh, curve look up here, but I want to pull these in, lift them up a little bit higher, that way when I pull these in, uh, it'll look like it's up still pretty high. There we go. Alright. Uh, now for the fun part. What we're going to do is we're going to come back to our plane selection uh, thing. And we're going to select the top and inset it just a tiny bit. And then we can go ahead and pull it up just a tiny bit as well. Alright. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, again, kind of thin it out. And we're going to extrude, pull it up. Apply, apply, apply. Alright, so you can do three of those. And now you should have something about that long. And we're going to click one. And we're going to select these at the top. Uh, only the top ones. And we're going to collapse these as two. So that'll uh, get us a really, you know, nice. Alright, now what we want to do is pull these straight back. So it gives it the curve of a sword. And I'm going to pull these uh, forward. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, the reason I'm doing this tutorial on sword is because I just purchased Final Fantasy 11 for Xbox, so. Let's go ahead and pull that back. There we go. Um. Okay, so uh, now that we've got that done, what we want to do now is select uh, these right here. Um, we want to select two over. If you have three over, hold Alt and uh, left click or left drag uh, across because you only want th uh, two over. So it's got it's like that. And all the rest of them are fine. Now we're going to go into the uh, weld here. So the top. Choose weld, change this to 10, that will go ahead and weld everything, at least it should weld everything correctly. Alright, now you're going to get this little, um, this weird at the top right here, you get this here. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pull this straight over, like that, and that will fix that up here. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a test render, just see what the blade looks like. Uh, it's fine. If you get a little too much in there, then uh, it's not going to look good, so... Alright, that's fine though how it is. Um, I think it wants me to weld that, but 
Alright, we'll go ahead and leave it how it is, though. It looks fine. Uh, you won't even notice it with the texture there, so it's all good. Uh, Alright, uh, next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead now and just apply some uh, uh, texture groups or those things. Let's go ahead and select these. And these ones right here are going to be the uh, sword. So we're going to label these. Uh, we'll put these material IDs at 1 for this. Or 2. We'll put these 2. Let's find it all the way down at the bottom. Alright, paints. There we go. Set ID. We're going to set this ID to 2. And then I'll be blade later. Right now, I don't even have a material added to it. So it's not going to give you anything. Alright. And now we want to select these, and we'll give this an ID of 1, which will be the hilt. And then we're going to select this uh, thing here. I don't even know what these are called, it's just an added detail. So uh, We're going to go ahead and put 3 here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and click M on our keyboard. Now I've got this selected, so I'm just going to apply it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and also add a mesh smooth. So. Alright, so uh, looks like I forgot to select that there. So let me go ahead and select that really quick. Actually, that could be a pretty good look for it. Let's see. We'll go ahead and render it out. Although, not much smooth. Alright. As you can see, I'm using mods already, though, so. Nah, I don't like it. Alright, so. Uh, actually, it doesn't look half bad. Alright, so we'll go ahead and render that out, keep it rendered out, and uh, basically that's it for this tutorial. Um, in order to make the materials and stuff, uh, you can go ahead and go back to my first video tutorial. I'll show you how to make a clear glass tutorial. Uh, if you actually play around with a few of those settings, you can actually just make a chrome material like the sword or uh, you make these cool bump materials here. Alright, I uh, hope to see you guys in my next videos. Um, be sure to uh, check me out still because uh, I'll be creating more tutorials every day or at least try to create one a day, uh, even though I forgot yesterday. Um, all right, well, that's it. Hope to see you guys in my next videos and hope to see you guys uh, commenting and sending me messages. All right.